Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the finale and what has happened to do with it. Also, there is a big interview with Grant Gustin we're going to be going over in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this all comes from an interview with TV Line. The link will be in the description below. And you guys can go read the whole thing. I'm going to be reading out all the answers and all the questions. But I'm going to be skipping right to the end because that is the most important thing. And I don't want you guys to have to wait the whole video to get to the sort of juicy stuff. And, you know, this last bit is really, really important. But all the rest is really important. But this is sort of the main topic of the video. So I'm going to talk about this first. So TV Line asks, and as far as Thorn, who's ostensibly crackling around out there somewhere, should we be afraid about what or whose form he next takes? So Grant Gustin's answer to this is, there was going to be a big Thorn cliffhanger at the end of what this season would have been, but that's not going to be the cliffhanger we get. Episode 619, Success is Assured, which is the title, is going to end up being our finale, so we're going to have a different cliffhanger than originally planned, but the cliffhanger at the end of 619 does serve as a pretty good finale. So that is a massive bomb that they drop right at the end of the interview. So from what we've been told, this season was going to be filmed in the summer. They would have released the final couple of episodes. They filmed up to episode 20, but now they're changing it. So episode 19 is the season six finale of The Flash. That's gonna be the end of the season, even though they shot the whole of episode 20 and they were planning to shoot two more episodes sometime in the summer and they will release it around like September time or something like that but you know that would potentially impact on the shooting schedule of the next season because they got to get that started pretty soon because they're going to be starting late nevertheless whatever happens on that new season so it seems like the people behind the scenes have changed their minds or this was their idea the whole time but they're going to be scrapping those final few episodes and making episode 19 the finale so the actors and I guess the people who are working on the show were all contractually told that they were supposed to go through with these final few episodes whenever they could eventually film it that is one of the reasons why we sort of presumed they were going to film these final two episodes but i'm pretty sure the showrunner mentioned they were planning to do this but obviously plans do change so it has changed episode 19 is going to be the finale and it seems like they're potentially happy with cutting the season short so it doesn't affect the next season even more obviously it's going to be maybe a bit abrupt but Grant has said that this finale, episode 19, is going to act as a good finale, even though there was a cliffhanger actually planned for episode 22, which would be the normal finale, and that would be to do with Eobard Thorn. So there would have been a cliffhanger to do with Reverse Flash at the end of the season. Obviously, this is probably going to continue into the next season, whatever they had planned with Reverse Flash, because it would have been teased at the end of the season, and it would have led into season 7. So I wouldn't be too upset about not getting that cliffhanger. Obviously the cliffhanger would have been amazing. We would have been really excited over the summer, sort of leading towards the new season in October. However, you know, we're still going to get this reverse flash stuff, even though we won't have a thorn cliffhanger. We will have a different cliffhanger in episode 19. As Grant has actually confirmed, there is going to be a cliffhanger at the end of the season and apparently the one in 19 does serve as a pretty good finale so I would say that's still a good thing I'm looking forward to it but I'm very curious because they did shoot the entirety of episode 20 like what have they done with that are they gonna mash it into episode 19 or are they just gonna save that and use some of that footage as maybe like the premiere episode of season 7 and mash it with some new footage or are they just going to completely scrap that whole episode like the whole of episode 20 because obviously that would be a big waste but maybe they thought episode 19 would be a better finale than what they had in episode 20 say I would say that's probably the reason why episode 19 is going to be our final episode is because they're happy with it but then they also don't want to affect the next season, so they don't want to take up all that scheduled time that they could have to finish this season where they think episode 19 could be a good finale. So that might have been a decision on Eric Wallace's behalf where he's like, yeah, this could be a good end and it's probably going to be the best choice so we don't impact the next season. Anyway, so let's move on. 
to talk about the rest of this interview via TV line. So the next question is, when we last tuned in, Barry had the idea to use his daughter Nora's journal to help build a new speed force. Will that prove to be easier said than done? So the answer from Grant is for sure. Barry will have the speed gauge that Cisco and Caitlin develop to register how much energy he's using and make sure he's not wasting his speed. But in the meantime, this artificial speed force isn't going to come together as quickly as we would like it to. And then when they eventually find a way to get it to work, it comes with a pretty big sacrifice to the team. So what does this mean? Obviously, this speed force isn't going to be super fast, as Grant says, but apparently it's going to come together and it's actually going to work but there is going to be a sacrifice to do with the team and he says it's a pretty big sacrifice so what could that be let me know if you have any theories comment in the comments below but anyway so let's move on to the next question will villains of the week such as ragdoll prove to be distractions as well the ragdoll episode and this is grant speaking airing this week changes the dynamic of the team and the west allen family moving forward they're not just small challenges they're going to have long lasting effects for the rest of the season it's not just a villain of the week type thing it will affect more of the show moving forward for a while so this is good news because you know a lot of the times the villain of the week episodes are just kind of throwaway episodes so i guess it's good to know that this is important anyway so that episode is coming out later tonight so review will be coming out tomorrow and if there's a new trailer as well i'll break that down Anyway, so the next question from TV Line is, to the audience, Iris has been acting a bit off, sometimes even giving atypical advice, even though it worked out for you in the last episode. The way you've been playing it, are these off moments registering at all for Barry, or has the Thorn thing been just too distracting? And so Grant answers with this, I think Barry has had enough distractions to not catch on as much as he would have sometimes. I'm sure viewers are screaming at Barry in certain moments like how are you not realising something is off, but he will be the first team member outside of Wally to start picking up that something is wrong with Iris and he starts to get suspicious. There's a breaking point where he looks back at the past few weeks and realises this isn't Iris. So Grant has revealed another big thing here that Barry will realise that Iris is off and there's something wrong about iris apparently wally's found out already which i didn't really get the gist but maybe if you look back at the episode when wally appeared maybe he did realize i know there was a few moments where some of the characters were like hmm there's something off of iris and barry's had a few moments like that but like grant says he really hasn't taken it in as much as he would have you know being a csi and everything he should be able to figure it out but he's definitely been distracted but Apparently there is a breaking point where he looks back at the past few weeks and he realizes this is an iris and that's when he will get suspicious. And so Grant goes on to say Barry has an epiphany moment where he shares all of his suspicions with Cecile and the writers gave me a really fun scene for it when it all lands where I convey all these ideas about what I think is really going on. We had lots of fun with it. Okay so TV line goes on to say I've had several readers asking if the real Iris' status as Barry's lightning rod might play a role in him eventually returning to full power. Grant answers like this. Not so much to be honest, but there's an emotional connection that will be used to figure out how to get Iris out of the mirrorverse, as he's calling it, but it's not necessarily connected to the whole lightning rod idea at this point. So. I think obviously the interesting thing about this is he names it the Mirrorverse like he's actually got a name for it. That means the showrunners probably have a name for it, which is the Mirrorverse. So that's cool. I was calling it the Mirror World. I think Mirrorverse sounds even cooler. Anyway, so the way that Iris will get out of here won't be to do with her being Barry's lightning rod, but there is going to be some sort of emotional connection and sort of moment that will happen to get Iris out via Barry. Okay, so the final question is... In the episodes we will get this season, is there an especially meaty or emotional scene ahead of you and Candace Patton? Grant says, yeah, right before Barry kind of figures out what's going on, there's a big fight scene essentially that is going to change the dynamic of Barry and Iris and what that relationship is moving forward for the rest of the season. So obviously they have been a bit rough, I guess you could say. There's been no real arguments or anything, but obviously something's wrong with Iris. And you can tell that Barry has sort of noticed a little bit so far. But there's going to be some sort of further conflict in the next few episodes. 
just before Barry figures out what's going on with this mirror version of Iris, who he thinks is the normal Iris. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, go check out the interview, it is in the description below, but if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new, and I'll catch you guys for a flash review tomorrow, goodbye. I see red.